Jalen, 2013 MBA preview. This is an emotional one for me. Jalen's upset that we haven't had this team sooner. I did the rankings. <laughs> so is that why the Celtics aren't 30th? Yeah. There uh, they are! <laughs> Rondo! <laughs> well, this is the highlight of the season right here, that graphic. I must admit, that's a cold mascot. That cold? Looks, that looks, that it, looks awesome. It's nice, right? You, you know, like, um, that's a perfect example. I don't know how much you watched Fred Sanford back in the day. What are you talking about? I watch Fred Sanford all the time. You got it. So I you, wanted to be black when I was so a kid. So you remember when Smitty and Hoppy, the cops, used to come to the house? Yes. And sometimes they used to talk in a language that Fred couldn't understand, and then a black cop would have to translate? It'll be necessary to get a detailed report of the circumstances surrounding, A, the burglary itself, and B, the nature of the physical assault perpetrated on the victim. <laughs> he wants to tee on what got snatched and how you got wiped out. <laughs> That's what I just had to do for you when I talked about the mascot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's look at the collective fan base mindset for a team that, by the way, I should mention, did win the, the NBA title in 2008. Are you in this clip? No. This is a Doobie Brothers concert from 1982. <laughs> Let's play it. <laughs> Watch. That's Michael McDonald. That's my song right there. He actually used to eat the microphone when he said Literally. Started. Look at it. Look, he's making love to the microphone. So this is 1982, the, the Doobies were breaking up, and they played uh, a couple concerts in California, a couple farewell concerts. Yeah. And this is one That's of the best hit songs right made there. And here's why we picked it. Because with the Boston Celtics, Jalen, Minute, minute by minute. minute. I keep holding on. I keep holding on. It's a good one, right? Yeah. The Doobie Brothers were wildly underrated. I know, and the guy that's holding the guitar looks like uh, Eddie Murphy at 48 Hours. <laughs> Plus, a couple other Doobie Brother notes. Guitarist's last name was Simmons, and they were named the Doobie Brothers. Has there ever been a better name for a band than the Doobie Brothers? Don't get fired, Bill. What a great name. <laughs> Doobie Brothers. Think about that name. Even though the Celtics are in the mid-20s, you still found something classic to associate with your team. You gave that a little personal touch. I did, and plus that clip was in 1982 when the legend was running free. Very nice. So let's look at what the Celtics did last summer. Uh, you know what you did, Bean Town. Well, they traded one of the five best players in the history of franchise and one of the 20 best players of all time. You know what I love about Bill Simmons? What? I just have to say this. You're a diehard Celtic fan. And even though you and Doc Rivers squashed your beef, you're not letting it go. If somebody did that to my Pistons, my Lions, I would behave the same way. I appreciate you for owning it. The guy <laughs> in the graphics did that. That wasn't funny, guys. Seriously, you should take that off. <laughs> I didn't think that was funny at all. So look at who they lost. They lost a top five coach. Oh, two when he was with the team. Celtics, he was a top two coach. OK, I get it, OK. All right. Uh, we gained Jared Wallace, who's one of the five you worst contracts You just loved that contract, league. didn't you? I didn't like that contract. <laughs> Chris Humphreys, who might be rejuvenated this year. I have a Kardashian theory. Oh, I can't wait to hear it. Some people in the rearview mirror didn't fare so well a year or two after that relationship. Right. Miles Austin. I haven't seen him be a productive player since he became a part of that scenario. Lamar Odom. Lamar Odom. It's not working out too well for him at this I, point. That is the all-time understatement that's ever happened on the <laughs> channel. I think a couple of years removed from the curse. The Kardashian stink? Chris Humphrey's going to go back to being a 10-point, 10 10-rebound 10 kind of player. To back up your point, my dad has already talked himself into 12 rebounds a game. And don't even get me started on Kelly Olenek, who looked awesome in summer league. And we... We might already retire his jersey. Would it be weird to retire his jersey before the season starts? Kelly O'Linick looks like he could have been in the Doobie Brothers. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, I keep holding on. So you look at who we acquired. We also acquired Abject Sadness and, uh, and Brad Stevens, our new coach, who was fantastic at Butler. Terrific signing. Made chicken parmesan out of little fake chicken nuggets. The Boston Celtics aren't going to be a team in a championship contending race. But they got a coup mm. in getting Brad Stevens. Well, let's look at our rotation. I say I like I'm on the team. I'm you are. You like, might as well continue. Might as well, be on might as well own it. I kind of like the starting five. Now, that assumes Rajon Rondo comes back before, uh, I don't know, Valentine's Day. 
is Jeff Green ready to be a go-to guy? Let's go to Zach Lowe's question, because he follows up on this. Who goes next? Now, Boston has contracts of every type. The Albatross contract, Jared Walls. Mega expiring, Chris Humphreys, 12 million. Can get something for that, potentially. And then three mildly appealing mid-tier veterans. Jeff Green, 8 million a year, can have him. Brandon Bass, only 6 million a year. And then uh, Courtney Lee, if you need a two guard who could play some defense. He didn't have a good year last year, but um, Brandon Bass is somebody that if you threw him in a playoff series, we've seen he can do it. In today's NBA, you have to keep Jeff Green if you're the Celtics. Yep. Because he's a versatile player. He can play three and four on most nights on both ends of the floor. He can play facing. He can finish over the top. There's his shot chart. See the red, Jalen? That means he was lights out from that corner. I like that. And that's what I mean by keeping a guy like that on your roster because he is 6'9". He has made some spectacular plays. And then you say, wow, I wish he could do that more often. Maybe this is the year where he understands that he has to be aggressive all of the time. The word is tantalizing. He has a tantalizing game every once in a while that makes you say, Jeff Green, he's going to get there. We have some, something special, and then he has two points in the next game. Do, 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 uh, do, do, been waiting for this one. Clairvoyant Bill thinks Rajan Rondo has played has 20 games or less left as a Boston Celtic. He will play 20 games or under this year with the boss next to it when we're looking at his career stats someday. Whether they hold him and hold him and hold him and just shelve him and waste the season and don't bring him back till February, then give him some fake injuries so they can tank, or whether they get 15 games out of him and then trade him. Bill, this is why we give the people what they want. What you just described is the worst kept secret in the NBA. Once you trade Paul Pierce, Kevin Garnett, the year before you lost Ray Allen, and you lose Doc Rivers, the next obvious domino is Rajon Rondo. If you're gonna blow it up, don't leave like one room in the blown up <laughs> house and be like, nah, I'm gonna keep the living room. You blow up the house. Correct. They either have to convince him that long, we're gonna take care of you with a max extension, but you gotta sacrifice this year. He didn't play the second half of last year, so he's gonna give up a year and a half? When Rondo shows that he's back playing at an elite level, he will be traded from the Boston Celtics. Give the people what they want. I have a funny and interesting story about when I used to go play at the Celtics when Larry Bird was my coach. Hall of Famers, Isaiah Thomas, Michael Jordan, and Larry Bird ended up with other franchises in executive roles or coaching roles, but they made their name in their Hall of Fame rankings with an original team. So it was very emotional for Larry to go back to play against his Celtics. I'm pretty sure you know, I'm pretty sure you were there. Well, it, part of it was because they turned the team over to ML Carr instead of him. You had the, be you had the five best players <laughs> of all time versus a guy who was a sixth man for like four years, and you choose the sixth man. Yeah. Good so, job. And so when we used to do shoot around, I used to have a marker, T.O. style. And I used to write LB33 on the white part of the center of the jump ball. And everybody saw it, but nobody know who did it. I used to always do it where nobody could see. Like when guys throwing on their joggers, going to the bus, getting their ice or whatever, I'd be like, oh, I dropped something, or I gotta go grab something. And I'd run back and write LB33 to tribute the legend when we went back and that's why I love to Jaylen play Rose. against the Celtics. And that's why I love Jalen Rose. It's yeah. like we were always destined to be friends. Ain't that something? Yeah. Gotta represent for the legend. Let's look at why the triangle loves my beloved Boston Celtics almost as much as I do. Watching, <laughs> watching Rondo cope with the new Celtics roster would be the gift that keeps on giving. He doesn't look happy in that photo. <laughs> that looks like you'd see that on TMZ with like Rajan Rondo is arrested at 3.40 a.m. Like yes, it morning. does look like a mug. In Chattanooga. Minute by minute <laughs> by minute. Can we get minute by minute back? I want to hear it again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Eat the mic, Michael. Yeah! I like his white, don't sleep on his white satin shirt either. Yeah! The guy on the left looks like boots. every porn star from the that early 80s. Like that, well, <laughs> that looks like Kelly O'Linick. That looks like I guess Kelly O'Linick looks like every porn star. That's my uh, my illegitimate brother, Patrick Simmons, on the left. And that's Reggie, Reggie Hammond. Hammond. <laughs>
a little photo show here. The big three ain't what it used to be. I'll tell you that in Boston. What do you think of when you see this picture? Look at Danny Ainge's face. He's like, what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? It's like he committed a murder and they just buried the body. How about Bogus doesn't look too happy to be there? Well, Bogus should be happy. He got like $5 million <laughs> to be in that trade, remember? <laughs> Get your money, Bo. That's Marshawn Brooks' close-up press conference reaction. <laughs> he wasn't too happy. And then... They're I, really focused on what the media and the organization has to say at this point. I made this joke in my column. They call them their agents? Again. No, no. They're texting each other saying, we're going to meet at 9.30. Don't tell Humphreys. <laughs> 9.30, Liberty, <laughs> Liberty Bar Hotel. Don't tell him if he asks where we're going. Okay, I got it, brother. So that's it. That's the Celtics season. 24-second shot clock predictions. Celtics, how bad? The Celtics are so bad this year that longtime avid, beloved season ticket holder, your dad is gonna miss more games this year than he has missed the last 10 years total. Wow. It reminds me of the 97 season when <laughs> Anton was playing center and he just gave me every ticket. It was the best. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. I'll go again. I think they're gonna be a little better than people think, regardless of what happens with Rondo because of Brad Stevens. I just think he's a really good coach. He Look is. at the stuff he did at Butler. I, I'm not saying they're going to win more than 30 games, but it's if Rondo plays, what, 15 games, whether he comes back or not, I still think he can turn eight more wins than you'd think. I believe in Brad as well. I agree with yeah. that. Yeah, so I don't think they'll be in the bottom five unless he is just totally in on the program. And they're just like, we are tanking. You know this better than rings. most. They've won more championships than any franchise. The only way truly for them to turn around their fortunes if it's not going to happen through the Gotta blow it up. Gotta bottom out. Gotta blow it up. Gotta bottom out. We'll be back on the uh, Bill and Jalen 2013 NBA preview with number 23, and it might not be a team from America. We'll see you then.